Hey guys, it's Yaya. Welcome back to my channel. Just in time for school, we're going back to the basics. I'm doing a very simple DIY mango butter and of course I'm using the amazing butters from Oz Love Organics where you can get all your DIY needs. I want to thank Oz Love Organics for partnering with me to bring you guys this video. Let's jump right in. Alright, I'm only using two butters because I want to make this very simple, especially for mothers who kids are going back to school, they're working, and it's a lot of hectic, busy things going on, right? So we want to make something quick, but still natural and great for everyday use. Both of these butters work amazingly for the skin, but the main reasons I chose these butters is because they are very, very soft, so they're going to give you a great lotiony soft texture to your product especially the shea butter now compared to the mango butter the mango butter is like a semi soft butter but shea butter is uber soft it's one of the softest butter and it melts the easiest i'm um, at the lowest temperature so um i wanted to put these together and see if i can get a really good lotiony like texture out of them so when trying to make a body butter that is on the more lotiony side you want to pay attention to your ratio to butter to oil okay so you want more oil than you have butter so say you have 45% uh, butter then you need to have 55% oil I hope that makes sense you guys <laughs> okay so um, you want to make sure that the oil ratio is higher than the butter ratio that's just, that's what's going to give you that looser um, softer texture when it comes to the body butter okay so i'm gonna go ahead and melt these down i've added all of my oils and butters together super simple easy recipe you guys this is as easy as it gets okay and because these butters are so soft i don't even have to put this on the stove i could just leave it in the hot water it's going to melt down if you want it to go a little faster you can definitely place it on the stove okay once your mixture is completely clear it's safe enough for you to wrap it up and put it in the freezer and wait for it to slightly solidify okay this took me a good almost an hour you guys <laughs> i wasn't expecting it to take that long but it definitely did all right this is perfect this is exactly what i was looking for just a little slightly solidified i'm going to mix this up together then i'm gonna use my whisk to whip this mixture up okay so um you can also use a hand mixer just take one of the uh mixer metal parts out and then just use that one if you want to do that okay this is my immersion blender it just has an interchangeable part where i can put the whisk on there um so yeah i'm just gonna whisk this up until it turns like a really fluffy beautiful pale white color all right i hope you guys enjoyed that i enjoy watching how the butter just comes together once you mix it up oh i just love it of course you're going to add your essential oils and your vitamin e and all those other great things to your desire um but basically this is done you guys this is this is the butter <laughs> um as you can see it has a very beautiful beautiful texture um when it comes to natural butters it's very very iffy because they do solidify um like i said adding that oil ratio more oil than the butter is what's really going to give you more of that looser texture without having having to add water and thickeners and preservatives because once you add water thickeners and preservatives that's when all that extra stuff comes in and it becomes a lot more complicated we're, we want simple right now okay we're busy we're mothers schools back in work 
when working as well you know we want something very simple a few butters a few oils and you have a beautiful natural butter that's perfect for your skin for you and your children okay so um this is why i wanted to make this very very simple butter for back to school so anything after this is just me being extra and I wanted to make it fun since it was back to school so I'm adding some mica. Mica is a natural colorant and it's just going to give it a really nice beautiful mango like color. Some mica even leave a little shimmer color so it just depends on your preference when it comes to that. But I wanted to take a small portion out so I can test the color first to see so I wouldn't mess up my whole batch because um, you can always add more but you can never uh, really take away unless you had more product. So that's why I think it's best to you know just do a little bit first and you can give or take how much you like okay. So um, yeah I think that color came out pretty well for me so I'm gonna go ahead and color the rest of the batch and add just a tiny bit more mica. So you can just add this to your desire but like I said just add a little bit at a time and mix it very very well um, so you can get all the streaks of color out and then you have a blended beautiful um, body butter. <laughs> So a little more about these butters, um, I really use mango butter in about almost everything, especially in my face creams because it really works to um, reduce wrinkles and keep your skin plump and full. Um, but shea butter is definitely a miracle worker. Shea butter is one of those butters that um, is pretty pretty universal. A lot of people know shea butter. If they don't know any other butter, they know shea butter. And um, it's just really great for the skin if you want to talk about having dry skin, itchy skin eczema, stretch marks, anything that you can think of when it comes to skin, shea butter can pretty much cure it, okay? And it just pairs so beautifully with other butters, like mango butter, whatever other butter you want to use, shea butter just really enhances it. Using shea butter by itself, you can definitely do, but when it's paired with another butter, that's when it really, really shows its true colors. It's just really, really beautiful. And also, um, it mutes the smell a little bit. Shea butter does have a very a sort of smell whereas mango butter is more on the um, mild smell so you really don't smell mango butter really doesn't have a smell so it's easy to add a scent of your own and make it your own where shea butter you got to work a little bit harder to kind of um, get the smell or scent that you want unless you like the shea butter smell then hey <laughs> go go for it okay but yeah um, this worked out pretty well and I love the fragrance that I use it smells great you guys and Ah, I really like how this turned out. I'm really excited about it. It's super light and fluffy and would you guys give this a try? I wanted to make it really simple for you guys. I really think that most of you will be able to really make this butter at home for you and your child to enjoy. Now, like I said, anything after that is me being extra. I made a little label using my thermal printer. Usually I use those for my postal um, shipping stickers. But what I did is I just reformatted it and then cut out... Uh, just a really cute label and just stuck it on there so if you guys would like to see a video tutorial how I do like the little DIY labels just let me know and I would definitely do that for you guys it's just something really quick if you want to jazz up your jar label it okay um, another thing one of my amazing subscribers suggested to me because this is a thermal label it will smear or is not oil or waterproof so just take a little bit of tape and just tape over the main parts like the words and then there you go you don't have to worry about water getting on it or oil getting on it or it basically disappearing <laughs> another thing i wanted to say you guys is that this is an eight ounce jar i just put it in the jar that i had but the batch that i made was enough for almost a 16 ounce so if you want big jars of butter that'll last you for a while while the kids in school just quick and easy and always be on your hand the recipe and the measurements that I got down in the description box below is going to make you a lot of this stuff okay it's really light it's fluffy and it's going to be a whole lot I just put it in this eight ounce jar but I have plenty left in the glass container all right you guys that's it I really hope you enjoyed this video please go check out my Instagram there will be a giveaway over there where you have a chance to win a starter kit from Oz Love Organics so you can make your own DIY butter how cool is that make sure you subscribe to Oz Love Organics Check the description box for all the ingredients, measurements down below, all that good stuff. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know the drill, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.